Hey guys, Tony from NDZ Performance here. Uh, here we have a uh, SIG P320 frame with a uh, magazine that's kind of torn apart. Uh, but I want to go over a new product. Uh, and before I get to that, I know you guys are going to be scratching your head a little bit as to why am I showing you this uh, because the part I have is not actually on anything as of yet. Uh, but we are going to be engraving uh, just to get people excited. So we are going to be engraving this area on the frame on both sides and also offering some stippling uh, on these frames. Uh, the cool thing about it is is these are basically throwaway. I mean, if something happens to this, you, you throw it out. You buy a new one and you start over. So really cool uh, with that whole aspect on there. Really liking that. So with regards to the magazine, uh, so here we have a magazine plate. Uh, this is a NDZ offering. This is something that the Jay and Josh at the shop just finished up. So this is a new release. Uh, the one shown here is strictly for the 45, uh, and it'll fit all the 45s. Um, and we will have the other models very shortly. Uh, but the first first thing I wanted to get done was the 45 because that's actually uh, what I plan on uh, on carrying in a little bit as soon as I get one available that that's been modified or retrofit to the uh, the new standard. Uh, so I'll just put this on really quick. You guys can see what it looks like. So it is made to the exact standards and uh, basically mimics stock. Ta-da! There you go. That's it. So man that looks nice. So uh, one thing we did do and we do this on a lot because obviously we're we're in the industry to do laser engraving uh, on a lot of different surfaces and for us in order to display the logo on here properly to the largest possible size we offset the hole so the hole is still in there which you saw is a blind hole uh, and then we offset this hole so you can still still tear on the magazine uh, but for us it's something that we need to do uh, so one thing we thought about was uh, we noticed some of the other guys uh, make this straight across uh, so in detail, we actually did the Smith & Wesson and wherever we could, we actually put the release in there or the uh, the undercuts there, which allowed you to actually do a positive grip and pull the magazine out. Uh, so we continued that uh, trend here. So we decided not to do that, not to make this flush and actually offer the, uh, the scallops in there or the undercut. Uh, so just uh, wanted to see, uh, hey, you know, leave feedback. If you guys want to see a flat across, Cross, we'll, uh, we'll definitely consider it, but uh, we kind of felt that everybody in the industry, uh, seeing we had so much push on making the undercuts uh, for positive pulls, especially for the guys that shoot competitively, uh, to make sure this was incorporated into here. Uh, on a side note, so we did partner up with a uh, company here that does Cerakote. Uh, it's veteran owned and lady owned uh, jointly, and uh, it's a great company. Uh, we definitely see a lot of potential. And uh, I did showcase in one of the other videos just quickly some of the, the patterns, you know, the colors uh, that you guys will be seeing, you know. Uh, so, and there's going to be a lot more coming down the pipe. So, it's just it's just a matter of time. It's just trying to piece all everything together. Uh, but just kind of want to get everyone thinking as to what you're going to see, including those plates or those colors done on this. So, that's about it on this video. Uh, Really not, not too much on here with the exception of the uh, magazine plate and the Cerakote options coming. So thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned till next time. Take care. Bye.